Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a motion trail effect very easy in After Effects. First of all we will need to isolate the car from a background, so let's duplicate our clip and then grab a roto brush tool and double click on duplicated layer. Rotoscope the car as smooth as possible, and once you are done, click on freeze button. Once the freezing is done, we can close rotoscoping window and go back to our main composition. Now make sure to pre-compose rotoscoped layer. Let's name it car only and then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Let's apply pixel motion blur now. Bump up shutter angle to 2000 and shutter samples to 20. Now create new solid layer. I will name it trail and then make sure the size is the same as your composition, in my case it's 1080 by 1920. Now let's hit OK and then apply particle playground effect on trail layer. Let's expand canon and change values to zero what's below the direction random spread. We don't need to mess up these values, the only velocity is needed from here, and we will make changes on it a bit later. Expand layer map now and change use layer to a car only layer. We will come back to time offset a bit later as well. Expand affix and change older slash younger than to negative 1.80. Change age feather to 0.10. Note, do not mess up too much with these values, you can play around with them of course, but the values I show are the smoothest I found. Now expand gravity and then let me scroll forward so I can show you what gravity force value changes. If I increase force, the car will go down like that, but if we decrease the force and set it to for example negative 1000 or more, the car will go up. In our case we need the negative values. So now we can go to velocity and bump it up to around 700 and then let's check the effect. Looks cool, play around with velocity until you will be satisfied with it. So now, let's change time offset to the lowest value, 0.01. And now as you see it trails up and we are almost done with the effect, a few more adjustments and effects are left. First let's click on toggle switches slash modes and change trail layers mode to screen. Now apply curves effect on it. Change channel to blue and adjust the curve something like that. Looks fine to me, now let's apply a glow, I will use a deep glow plugin. In case if it's too bright or you want to make it less visible, make sure to press T on your keyboard and decrease the opacity on a trail layer. I think 80% is fine. Now make sure to scroll to the very beginning of a trail layer and then select car only layer and press T to expand opacity. Then click on both trail and car only opacity stopwatch icons to create a keyframes. Then scroll forward where you want this effect to start from and move those keyframes there. Now go back to the beginning and change both opacities to 0%. Let's scroll where you want your effect to end and then copy second keyframes and paste right there. Then copy first two keyframes and paste at the very end of your layers. Let's quickly check it. Looks nice, but I will decrease the velocity just a little bit. That looks better. And now let's change time offset type to relative random. That looks cool as well. Let's add some shakes now. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials. Also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.